Hello guys, um, you're welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's class, um, I want to show us how to, the easiest way of making a, a cow top, a sleeveless cow top. So using this uh, pattern paper, I'm going to I'm going to draft the the back pattern. I'm going to cut the back first. So you can as well use your main fabric to just cut it out instead of using paper. But just for clarification, I'm using this. So this is the half length, that is the waistline. After measuring two inches for the shoulder, you slant, then you get your half length. You get your half length. Then get your boss point. Get your boss point that is from your shoulder to your boss point from the shoulder to the waist that is the half length so on this boss line i'm going to take my bust measurement divided by four this waist line waist measurement divided by four then you're going to add um two inches allowance You're going to have two inches allowance. Sorry, I made mistake on the uh, bust measurement initially. So your arm hole seven inches from the shoulder line. Sorry, I'm not really really used to ruler. I like using my free hand. Not really familiar with using ruler. So this is the arm hole. So this is the length of the top so we are going to take your on this down part you take your hip measurement divided by four plus two inches so you're going to connect them together we're going to connect them together like this then you're going to cover your arm hole if you're very very good in making use of all this ruler then you can you can decide to use that so this now you can decide to leave it straight then you can curve it a bit but i think when you curve it a bit will be better so the neckline uh two two inches down then 2.5 inches wide so just connect them this neckline depending on how deep and how wide you want it but i think basically this uh this is okay so this is it so i decided to curve the back a bit i decided to curve the back a bit so this is it i've already placed it on the main fabric and i've cut it out So cutting the cutting the front now will not be difficult all you need to do is just you know in my in my the, the video i made on the cow neck top the other time you are going to slash the you are going to slash the pattern and spread it in order to cut the front part but in this case it's going to be different i think this one is much more easier instead of slicing the instead of slicing the pattern paper just place the back like this then you leave about seven or six inches here depending on how you want it to fall so but basically i think seven inches is okay yeah so this is the way you're going to to place the back Just seven inches, it's okay. Seven inches is okay there, so all you need to do now is just consider to do two or three, depending on how far you want it. So now you are going to connect 
So I'm going to cut it to that shoulder part. You can decide to go up like this. Then you can see you can also go straight. So now you follow the shoulder line like this. Notch this place so that you know that okay, this is where the shoulder is starting from. Then you are going to follow the same shape. You can see that this is much more easier. So this down, you're not going to cut exactly on this place. You're going to come down with about 1.5 inch. And you connect them together like this so that it will be straight. Yeah, because of this curve, you have to add about one and uh, one and a half inch so that they will be equal. So this is very easy actually. So all you need to do is just cut face. This is the back. Just cut facing for this back. Cut facing for the back. Then this front neckline, you're just going to pipe it very tiny. So place the shoulder together. Place the shoulder together like this. You're going to have this uh, this drop at the middle. So this is it. All you need to do is just pipe the front line very tiny. Cut facing for the back. Then you join the shoulder. Join the side. Then you end the down part then our address is ready our top is ready so as simple as this thank you guys for watching see you next time